Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this presentation on Fall Product Program for the Girl Scouts. Product Management Platform. M2 Platform for Girl Scouts. The Girl Scout login for the first time after receiving the launch email or accessing the council-specific URL on or go day. Participants should have their troop numbers available. If participant doesn't see their troop number or name, complete the setup process and council will verify after completion. Returning participants can use the same email address and password, but need to confirm and complete the setup process. The adult and Girl Scout validate their council with the zip code next, confirm participant troop numbers, and then answer questions about their Girl Scout goals and what Girl Scouting means to them. Along the way, participants build their virtual avatar likeness with a patented Girl Scout platform. Girl Scouts share their goals for the product program through an individual or troop video has shown a significant increase in results. Girl Scouts engage digitally with supporters by designing their own avatars. This can help them with their digital experience, make it more personalized and connecting with supporters in person, but in the digital space. Girl Scouts personalize their avatars, selecting the backgrounds like waterfalls or trees. Once the personalization patch is earned with the criteria highlighted, though in person, through in-person or online efforts, together the patch is directly shipped to the mailing address provided after login. So make sure that the address is correct when prompted to fill it out. Girl Scouts can personalize their requests for support based on supporters' preference for each contact. The most popular option is still sending emails with a 58% sale outcome from this channel. Next line is social media and then text to share. Here's the participants online toolkit for managing both online sales and in-person participants. Girl Scouts can send additional emails, social media, or texts from the participants dashboard. There is also the opportunity to send supporter thank you emails, a new feature this year. Girl Scouts, adults, <laughs> adults and their Girl Scouts enter the total number for each item used in on their order card into the system prior to the end of the program if this is an option offered by council. Net order card totals will be tabulated and added to all online sales totaled in the report. Rewards earned by automatically select and participants can make selections at levels where there are choices for the awards earned. There are reports showing sales by categories and specific reports highlighting girls, girl delivered items, items sold online by supporters, and with contact information for the person of nut and chocolate delivery. Please go through and play with as many of the features as possible. M2 assures us that nothing can be broken, but things can be played around with. So please have fun and work around the system. And of course, if at any time there are questions on how to operate, how to use, or explaining a function, do not hesitate to contact customer care for additional support. M2 platform for the troops. Please be on the lookout for your activation email. To get started, watch for your activation email from the M2 platform. This email contains important instructions for setting up the account and accessing the platform. Be sure to check your spam folder as a just in case if you have not received that email. By utilizing the M2 platform effectively, you're streamlining, streamlining the process for managing orders and tracking sales, helping to ensure success for the program. Troop leaders and product program managers can view overall troop stats on the landing page of the volunteer admin site, as well as managing the program. Troops have the ability to send messages to participants within the troop to encourage participation, share program updates, and thank them for the conclusion of the program. Troops also have the ability to edit or enter participant order card information if their council participates in the net order card. Rewards and personalized patches that Girl Scouts have earned will appear on this site. Troops should check to make sure they are correct, make any missing selections of items so rewards can be submitted, and enter the addresses where necessary for patches to be fulfilled. Troop level reports are available, showing total sales and a breakdown by channel and product. The Troop Summary Report is a great overview for the key troop financials, including troop process and balance due to council. Banking and payment provides troops with a view of their, bank state of their bank transactions and council payments and gives troops an additional tool to track participant payments if entered by the troop. When troops log in, a troop training video will take place through these tools. 
Even after the program is over, troop volunteers can log in to see reports and banking information throughout the duration of the Girl Scout year. But we do recommend downloading all financial reports as quickly as possible in case there are any issues getting back into the system as time goes by. Again, M2 encourages participants to play around with all the functions and features available for the troop to use. They've assured us the program cannot be broken or deleted in any way. And of course, again, as always, if any questions arise, any functions are confusing, or you're needing assistance, do not hesitate to contact customer care for any additional supportive needs. Records and receipts. Council will have extra copies available. If a troop needs more, we prefer that you first connect with your service unit directors. If the service unit director doesn't have any available, they can contact customer care and we will assist them. Additionally, we typically provide a downloadable copy on our website for troop leaders to print if needed. Accurate record keeping is crucial for managing the file product program effectively. Here are the key guidelines for handling receipts and ensuring financial responsibility. Never accept or transfer product without a detailed receipt. Receipts are vital documentation for exchanging of goods and verifying that all transactions are recorded accurately. Once you accept and sign a receipt for the product, you are financially responsible for it. This means you need to ensure that all product and related transactions are correctly, are correctly documented to avoid disparities. Anytime money or product changes hands, both parties should receive a signed receipt. This ensures that there is a clear record of the transaction to help prevent misunderstandings or dispute. Payments from customers. Payments should be collected at the time the customer orders. This includes the order card orders. Credit cards can be accepted by having the customer order at the M2 site and clicking Girl Deliver. Cash and checks can also be accepted for payment. Cash and checks collected during the order card sales should be returned to the true product coordinator within 14 days of the receipt from customer. Cash and checks collected during Girl Deliver for product should also be returned within that 14 day window. Checks should only be accepted by customers the Girl Scout family knows and can connect with if there is an issue. It is recommended that no bills over $20 should be received to avoid counterfeit currency. Counterfeit currency will be the responsibility of the Girl Scout and the troop. Parents and troop leaders can use their counterfeit pens to ensure the validity of the cash that's being collected. Customer check payable instructions. When receiving payment by check, the check should be made payable to the Girl Scout troop if the payment is to be deposited into the Girl Scout account. Troop account. For those troops that have not set up their troop account, the check can be made out to Girl Scouts of Central California South or Girl Scout troop number. Either way ensures that the troop number and Girl Scout is added to the memo line of the check. Checks should only be accepted by customers that the Girl Scout family knows. Payment to the troops. Girl Scouts should turn in cash and checks to the coordinator within that 14 day window of receiving from customers. Troops can receive checks or cash only from Girl Scouts for the girl delivery orders. Zelle transactions between Girl Scout families to troop bank accounts is allowed. Please contact bank if Zelle is allowed for your troop account. No Venmo or Apple Pay or other electronic payment system is allowed for this transaction. Those transactions are not considered troop transactions and therefore the troop has no rights to those funds transferred. Additionally, with things like Venmo and Apple Pay, those payments are tracked and unfortunately can sometimes be considered income on behalf of the individual instead of the troop. To help mitigate any of those issues, it is best to use Zelle when transferring money that is collected from the individual to the troop. We're thrilled to introduce a fun new twist to our fall product program with instant rewards. This program is all about adding a bit of excitement and instant gratification for our Girl Scouts as they rock their sales. For this group, for every $50 in sales, up to $400, your Girl Scout will earn a super cool Silly Pop keychain. The more she sells, the more keychains she can collect. Each keychain is a little mini celebration for reaching a milestone, making the sale journey even more fun. Service unit product coordinators will receive the instant rewards to distribute to their service units. Troop product coordinators will need to coordinate with their service unit coordinators on pickup dates and times. We would encourage that they be distributed to troops at the service unit meetings to ease on the service unit coordinator schedules. 
The reward is meant to be distributed between October 1st and December 1st in hopes to generate excitement and fun during the product program. Claiming your reward is easy and based on the honor system. Once your Girl Scout has hit the $50 mark, she can swing by one of our two council offices or get in touch with her service unit director, who will be stocked up and ready to help, especially for those in the outlying areas. Just make sure to inform your troop coordinator when you pick up the keychain. And here's the bonus. This keychain reward is on top of the main reward your Girl Scouts will be earning through the program. We trust everyone to follow the Girl Scout promise and law and claim only the keychains that they truly earned. We appreciate all the effort and enthusiasm you put into making this program a success. Let's make this season exciting and rewarding one keychain at a time. And to emphasize, this is up to that $400. So girls can receive either one keychain or up to eight keychains, depending on how much it is they sell. So please have a great time and encourage these awesome rewards. Engaging volunteers and families is key to the success of the fall product program. Remind the girls of the goals that they've set with their troop. And within that, what is needed to accomplish these goals? How much money are they needing to fundraise throughout the year? Fall product program is a great way to get a start on that money so that we can have a year full of all of the goals that this troop wants. Use that to motivate their families and the girls to participate in these programs. And keep in mind that these can be a real motivator for the troop activities, troop events, and having a lot of fun as a group. So what's next? Well, here are your important dates. Stay up to date on what's important. So September 23rd is when troop and service unit access for M2 begins. You will be able to get in early to make sure you have a clear understanding of all the functions. And this is a great time to start asking questions if you are unsure of any of the processes on M2. October 1st is when order date starts. So this is the official kickoff for the campaign. Orders need to be entered onto the M2 system by October 25th. By the 26th, in-person order taking and girl delivery order taking ends. This is a time to make sure that everything is entered onto M2. The 27th is that last day for troops to enter in all of the M2, all the M2 information for Girl Scout participants. November 11th is when we anticipate delivery of the items for customers to begin. And December 1st is when the online orders for direct ship for the nuts, magazines, tumblers, etc. to end. And finally, your next steps. So one, making sure your annual permission forms are signed. Again, we really need these for girls to participate in any of the activities throughout the year. We know Girl Scout season starts October 1st, but they are able to sign early as long as the dates on the signature are where they are, but the dates for the year match from October 1st to September 30th, it's you're in the clear. Two, encourage participation to support the troop goals. Remember, this is not just a fundraiser, it's an entire program of learning and experiences and growth. And we wanna make sure that it's treated as such. But we also wanna call back to what is it the girls wanna achieve during the year? What events, what goals, what do they want? And using this as a way to start that process. And three, Register fall product coordinators on their M2 account. You should receive your emails to get everything started and be ready to get going. And if there's any delay, please reach out to customer care and inspire the girls to activate their accounts October 1st when they can. And if anyone is missing, you can email customer care to make sure that everybody gets what they need. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our customer care team for any additional assistance needed. Here's our number and our email. Do not hesitate to call if you're needing any assistance or have any questions during this entire process.